and that, guys, is a thing of dreams. Would it actually be us if it it's went satellite. to Satellite, it's satellite. What? Oh, oh my god. Our first vegetarian barbecue. Jesus, <laughs> <laughs> ginger. Look at that! Oh, Jesus. The minute we have a little bit of warm weather, the shirt comes out. <laughs> doing i hope you're all doing it really well welcome back to my channel and to another weekend vlog i'm really enjoying these weekend vlogs i hope you are enjoying watching them as well today is a saturday and the weather is beautiful it is so nice we've been so lucky with the weather in london recently it's made being indoors a little bit more tricky but like i say we're very lucky we've got our outside terrace let me quickly show you oh look at those blue skies amazing I've just put some laundry on and I put it outside. It's really nice because it dries so much quicker out here. We're still loving the terrace. It still looks absolutely amazing. So today's plan is that we're just going to obviously have a super chill, relaxing weekend. But we're having a barbecue, which I'm so excited about. We are in a flat block, so obviously we do have to be very careful. But we're going to have it outside, obviously. But it's going to be on our like fire escape exit way. So it's going to be very small. We're starting everything off in the oven and then just finishing on the barbecue. It's just something to make us feel a little bit more normal and we are super lucky that we do have a bit of outside space so let me show you the barbecue so this is the little barbecue it's from the meatless farm and they actually do some really amazing like vegetarian and vegan burgers and mince and sausages and all that stuff we were very kindly gifted this last year but it arrived towards the end of summer and by the time we moved into this flat we just never really put it to use so we put it away in storage and it's making an appearance this year and i was so excited so they've got we've got like the, the branded tongs a little spatula and the sausage skewer thing i'm not really sure what you call that yeah this is the our little makeshift barbecue it has legs so we haven't got to worry about like it getting too hot on the bottom of anything and yeah this is the little grill so i'm very excited to put this to use so myself and zara just did a bit of a morning workout we've had some breakfast we've been reading it's just been super chill it's currently Oh, it's just gone midday actually, so I've just picked up the camera. Um, I do need to do some dishes in a second. But we are going to make a cake today as well. We're going to be making a cherry bakewell cake, which is so exciting because I love cherry bakewell. And we're treating ourselves to a little cheeky takeaway later. So it's going to be really lovely, super relaxing Saturday. Oh, gee, the birds are starting to tweet. So yes, it's going to be lovely. Um, in terms of the barbecue, obviously being a vegetarian is quite tricky. But we are going to do some vegetarian sausages and we're doing some halloumi and pepper skewers. Um, Zara actually got some meatballs, let me show you. So these are the bits and bobs that we picked up from Waitrose yesterday. These are the vegetarian sausages and the Linda McCarty ones, we absolutely love them. So we're popping those in the barbecue. And then these meatballs, we've had these before in a spaghetti bolognese and they are ridiculously tasty. But Zara said she's going to halve them and then pop them on a skewer because she's not really keen on halloumi. So that's what we're going to have. Um, on the sausages I'm going to do some onions as well to pop them on. So that's going to be really nice. Obviously we're going to have it with ketchup because you can't have sausages without ketchup and then these are the hot dog buns that we've got the rich brioche rolls so they're gonna be really nice we've also been doing a bit of reading i was gonna buy a kindle off amazon we were just sat on the sofa the other evening and zara said that she actually had a kindle but she hadn't turned it on in years so we got it out charged it updated the software and it is so good it's one of the newer ones actually which is perfect let me just unlock it so the book i'm reading is called the house on the lake and it's by an author called noala elwood and i just finished a book of hers and it's called my sister's bones and it is so it was it was amazing it was such a good page turner so i've just downloaded this one it was like two pounds 99 which is obviously so cheap and then zara's been reading this which i had featured on my youtube channel before it's called the miracle morning and Oh my god, it's incredible. I read this about two years ago, and I passed it on to Zara, and she's been reading it, and she's quite foreign. So yeah, it's basically a book about changing your lifestyle and how to transform yourself and be like a morning person. It is so good. It's really, really inspirational. I will link this down below, and also the Kindle and the book that I've been really enjoying. It's really good. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to sit, do a bit of reading. I need to do some dishes, and then... We're gonna get started on the barbecue. I think we'll have our barbecue, have a little walk, walk off the food, and then we can maybe make the cake, which I'm so excited about. So, it's gonna be a lovely vlog, but I hope you're all doing well and keeping sane during this very strange time. <laughs>
this is today's outfit as it is quite warm outside I thought I'd go for something a little bit more loose fitting so I've just got a really lovely linen shirt on from River Island it's quite nice because it's got some like pink stripes through it and just some black classic shorts these are from H&M and then I've just got some fake Birkenstocks on these are actually from Primark I've had them forever but I really like them <laughs> it's the ultimate the minute we have a little bit of warm weather, the shirt comes out. <laughs> Speaking of clothes, I've also just had some very lovely bits arrive from Next. I'm really, really lucky that I'm working with Next and doing a bit of content for them on Instagram. So these are some of the pieces that I've chosen. So I'm filming like three looks with them. So some really lovely chinos have just arrived. I love this shirt. It feels such amazing quality. And this like striped t-shirt's lovely as well. Really affordable as well, this one's 14. The shirt is 25, but it's made with 100% um, organic cotton. And the chinos are 28. And also, these are some really lovely classic white, um, low, like espadrille style Converse, which are just so nice. So yeah, really lovely pieces from Next. I'll link these down below as well if anyone's maybe looking for some summer clothes. Some really lovely pieces. So if you watched our terrace transformation, these little ottomans we use as seats, but they're great because they've actually got storage in them, which is obviously so good. So I picked up these, which are high performance fire lighters. So we're gonna use those on the barbecue. And then these, which obviously are the coals, it's briquettes. I think lump wood's actually better, but this is all Tesco had. Perfect, so that's all we need. Yeah. Okay, so we're just gonna do some um, halloumi. This is just the essential Waitrose Cypriot halloumi. And Zara's just gonna do some peppers. And then I think what we should do is just soak the skewers um, in a little bit of water that just stops them burning when they get on like the hot um, coals. So yeah, I'll just soak those for a little bit. And then we're gonna do a little side salad as well. So we were very kindly gifted these little cocktail mixes from Longtail Mixers. I'll link these down below, but they look amazing. Um, and we're just gonna make ourselves a little cocktail. Zara's got some cucumber ribbons going on. And this was also very kind. I feel like we've had a lot of things kindly sent over recently, cocktail-wise. This is garden cocktail, and it's from Tails Cocktails. So they come pre-mixed and you just add some kind of like mixer to them, which is perfect. So that's what we have going on here. And then these are the two pepper and halloumi skewers I've got going on, and then these are just for Zara once she's got her meatballs in the oven just cooking. They are vegetarian meatballs, like I said. And then we're gonna put them on the barbie. All right, thank you. <laughs> Jesus, chin chin, I just lost my vlog camera, found it again. Give it a try. Oh God, that's delicious. Okay, so we've just started off the barbecue in the little pot here. Um, I just used some cooks matches. And it is a tiny bit windy, but it's gonna be okay. We are in like an open space, so it's not bad at all. Um, and obviously you've gotta wait for the coals to go completely white before you pop any food on. Guys, we've had to make the barbecue in the corner because it just wasn't really working. So we're just gonna hope that that works. We had to put basically these like paraben fire lighters on them because it just wouldn't light. I mean, I hope they don't set on fire. That'd be really annoying if they did. I've soaked them in water, so fingers crossed. We just have to keep turning them. Oh, Christ. This is just a bit stressful, isn't it? No, it's going to be fine. I mean, would it actually be us if it it's went satellite. swimming? It's satellite. What? Oh, oh my God. No, 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 no. No. Oh, oh. No, I'm going to lose a meatball now. Oh. Shit. Zara, it's on fire. That's all right. I think that'll cook. The Lumi's looking lovely. Guys, I reckon we've got some kind of progress going on. It seems to be cooking, I think. I'm not sure. But um, yeah, it's fine. It's gone great. These have been an absolute miracle. Definitely great. We've still got plenty left for our cheese fondue tomorrow, so it's fine. <laughs> this looks amazing. We got there in the end, guys. A little bit of lighter fluid, and we're absolutely laughing. I've just bashed out a little salad. Well done, Zara. Zara's basically took control. We've got some sausages about to go on and just finishing off the last little bit. <gasps> this looks so good. I mean, we might be eating toxic food. <laughs> Isn't it so good? I just want. I just had one of Zara's meatballs. Oh my god. Mmm. Mm. Our first vegetarian barbecue. It can be done. Okay, so the sausages are on. The one on the left caught a little bit because I was right in the middle, but I think they're done, you know? They literally look amazing. I'm so, so excited. We're going to have these in a bread bun with some ketchup. Okay, so these are the Linda McCartney sausages. Yeah. Ketchup, go for it. I'll slather it on. We were going to do onions, but meh. Meh. Oh my god. Yeah, this one's a little bit overcooked, but it doesn't matter. 
barbecued. Let's go in for a taste test. What, does it taste as good as the meatballs, to mm -hmm. be honest? Good buns as well. So we have ended our barbecue. We've just toasted some mini marshmallows. Mini marshmallows? Marsh mini marsh marshmallows. Because um, we didn't have big ones. And then we're leveling up on our schmores by putting Nutella on the graham cracker. I might have to put the camera down. And that, guys, is a thing of dreams. Um, Barber, I think I'm due a haircut soon. Yeah. The sides are still fine. I love how Zara just doesn't care. She's like, yeah, I can do yeah, that I for you. I want to do it. Like these, yeah. are, that side's just gross. Nice. So lovely. We've just finished our barbecue. We've packed everything away. It looks all well. It's back how it was. We just need to give this a bit of a scrub down. But we've done all of the dishes. Everything is looking lovely. And now we are about to make a cake. We're making a cherry bakewell cake. Oh my god, I'm fully here for it. Cherry bakewell is one of my favourite things of all time ever. Put in a cake. Yeah. This is a recipe. It's a BBC Good Food one. I rave about BBC Good Food all the time. Oh my god, there's an app. I should definitely download the app. Didn't even know that was a thing. The majority of my recipes are BBC Good Food. They're tried and tested and they're so good. Um, they are more catered for British um, measurements and stuff because it's all in grams, but I can definitely convert this. So this is the cake. Things you're gonna need. self raisin flour, golden caster sugar. We're using granulated caster sugar, but it's golden, so I don't think it'll really matter. Um, we've got some super fine ground almonds, some butter, which we've just left out basically all day, so it's nice and soft. Four large free range eggs. You're also gonna need some bacon powder and some almond extract. And then for the filling, we need some cherry conserve. We have, we've got strawberry, but we've got some morello cherries as well. Icing sugar, lemon juice or water, and toasted flaked almonds, which we do have. Here, we've got some flaked almonds. Right. Basically, just bang it all in a bowl and mix it up and put it in two cake tins. It's that easy. Oh, two out six. Does that matter? Yeah. Okay, so the cakes are in the oven and this is going to be my afternoon reading. This is a book that I was actually given as my birthday present about two years ago. And it's sourdough. It's a book on sourdough and how to make sourdough. And it's been a little project of mine. Well, basically. I haven't been able to get flour in the longest time and Waitrose had strong white bread flour. And I'm like, yes, I can finally make bread. It's so exciting. Do excuse the biscuits. Sourdough is going to be happening, but I think you have to make it in like a jar and feed it. And it takes like five days before you can actually like make the loaf. So this is going to be an interesting read. I'll link this down below if you can still buy it. So the cakes have baked. They've baked for around 25 minutes and they're beautiful and springy to the touch. I'm just going to let them cool in the tins for like five minutes and then transfer them onto these wire racks. These are great actually because they're stackable. So you can stack multiple racks on top if you're doing a lot of cakes, but it should be good for just the two. So if you pop the bottom flat so it doesn't wobble around exactly and then the top will flip that the other way around perfect so this is the cake and then you just need to grab the jam so yeah with a palette knife just grab we would ideally do cherry jam but i didn't want to buy cherry jam just for the cake because so i wasn't really keen that keen on cherries so you just need to spread jam on the almond cake use whatever jam you prefer really whatever floats you bought okay so these are just some glacier cherries that i got from tesco i'm just going to sprinkle those on top of the jam. You don't have to do this, but I just absolutely love glacier cherries. I think they're absolutely delicious. So we're just gonna pop those around. Yeah. Um, and then we've just trimmed the top of the cake to make it nice and flat, and so I was just gonna pop that on. Amazing. Oh, look at that, it looks so good. And then Zara is just now just gonna drizzle on top into the middle. And this is just um, ice and sugar mixed with a little bit of lemon juice until it's that nice, like, thick consistency. Oh, this looks so good. I'm literally, I can't wait to eat this. We've just toasted some flaked almonds and yeah, so I was just going to sprinkle them evenly over the top. Oh, this looks so good. Oh my days. Toasted almonds. It's just one of life's joys. You can of course stop there if you want to, but we're just going to make it a little bit more kitsch by adding some glacier cherries around the outside as well to make it look like a proper cherry bakewell. How amazing does that look? Oh my god, literally, oh, that's going to send my OCD crazy. There we go. Look at that! So after the roaring success of our cherry bakewell cake, 
we, I was just actually on Instagram and I saw one of my followers had made a Amarula espresso martini. But obviously without the coffee liqueur, we use a vanilla spice cream liqueur, vodka and espresso. So we brewed this espresso about half an hour ago and Zara's gonna give it a good solid shake, make sure that's fully in. Yeah. So Zara has just made us two very lovely Amarula espresso martinis. So this is the liqueur we used and this is the end result. It looks amazing. I'll link the recipe down below if you want to give it a go. Hopefully it'll taste nice. Justin who I saw on Instagram it made these said they like rocket fuel and he's only just woke up and it's like six o'clock in the evening. So Did he have these last night? He had five. Oh Jesus. I think one and I'm gonna need help. But they that's that's strong. It's got less bitterness than espresso martini. It doesn't taste like coffee. Maybe a bit of sugar syrup might have been good in there. Very very nice. Quite a festive drink. Actually, it tastes like you could have that at Christmas. I could have that. It's really okay. lovely. We've also ordered a takeout. <clears throat> so excited. We haven't had a takeout in like a month. Oh, um, bad news about the takeout. What? It's delayed. Are you joking Nine me? Like five past eight now. Oh my god. What time Oh, we should have just made dinner. We've ordered a Chinese takeout. Oh, why have we done no, that? We never have takeaways. Yeah, it's true. It's true. It gives us time to eat. Eat. Up. It gives us time to drink our drinks and watch a film to not unpan your head like a dog. And um, yeah, we'll just have an hour of waiting no, for it. No more reading that. We have popped on Netflix and we've found the series called Dead to Me. There's two seasons, but we're starting obviously with season one. We recently just finished Hollywood, and it was in. Incredible, probably one of the best seasons I've watched in a very, very long time. I will link Hollywood down below. Um, I really hope they bring back a second season, but we're gonna start this and see how it is. But no sooner had I said the Chinese wasn't arriving, we haven't even pressed start on Netflix. The doorbell went. Oh, I mean, it's not a fancy Chinese at all, but it's delicious. Chow mein with vegetables, egg fried rice, Chips, because I know chips aren't Chinese, but we love them. And some spring rolls, soy sauce, uh, sweet and sour sauce, and prawn crackers. Oh, so good. So we're just going to cut ourselves a moderate slice of the cherry beer cold cake because we couldn't go to bed without trying it. That's what Zara's just said. I feel like a cherry per slice is good. Like, we should get at least eight slices out of this. <gasps> Cuts well. Is that oh, look at that. Oh, my God. <gasps> that looks amazing. Have you had a piece? Oh, no, oh, yeah. you've gone in. Oh. I enjoy that immensely. Mm -hmm. It's nice that it's a bit crunchy. That's the almonds on top, you know what I mean? Guys, that's good. We're on to the third episode of Dead to Me as well. It's actually really good. There's been so many twists and turns already. Netflix has actually got us through this lockdown. It's it, it's just ridiculous. Best thing ever. But um, yeah, really enjoying this. Okay, I'm going to end this vlog here. Sorry it's been a short one. I mean, I'm saying it's a short one. I'm not really sure. I feel like I lose track on what I've filmed. But thank you so much for watching. I really hope you have enjoyed our little stay-at-home weekend vlog. Tomorrow is going to be another lovely video, but that's going to be a separate one. We're going to France. We aren't. We're staying in our house. But we're doing our classic themed day and we're going to France. It's going to be amazing. Um, I'm sure that video will be up soon after you guys watch this one. But thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed it, don't forget to give the video a little thumbs up. And if you could subscribe, that would be absolutely amazing if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys very soon. Bye for now.